fun. <laughs> the mall was fun, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Listen, um, do you want to come in my room and hang out? Sure. Okay, come on. The mall was a lot of fun, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it, it was great. Are you okay? You seem a little, um, distracted. <sighs> Sorry. I'm just stressing. Over what? Well... TJ, you know, my boyfriend? Yeah, I know who TJ is. We're best friends. I'm sorry. Look, TJ, he's been so busy lately. I mean, we, we've hardly seen each other for the past few weeks. Every time I invite him to hang out, he says he's too busy. Did you guys have a fight or anything? No, we didn't have a fight. At least, I don't think we did. I mean, we didn't even have an argument since we started going out. Now, all of a sudden... I don't know, he's, he just seems really busy, and I, I don't know why. Why don't you go on his Facebook page and see, and try to get him on Facebook? That's a good idea. Okay. TJ Maxwell. Well, it says it's in, he's not on, but I'll leave him a message to call me. Good idea. What did you say? I said, hey, sweetie, I miss you. Please give me a call. Love your sweetheart, Larissa. That'll get him to call you. Yeah. But it doesn't seem like enough. Maybe I should try calling his house. Yeah. Well, look, I hate to take off on you, but I had to get home for dinner. I just looked at my watch, and I didn't realize how late it was. Oh, okay. Are you going to be okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Okay. Just um, call me if you hear anything about TJ, okay? I will. Okay. I'll see you later. Okay, bye. Bye. Maybe I'll call TJ. Hello. Um, hi, Mrs. Maxwell. This is Larissa. Is TJ there? No, I'm sorry. He's not home right now. Oh. Would you like me to um give you a cell phone number? I have a cell phone number, and I tried calling him there, but he wouldn't answer. Is he okay? Yeah, he's just out with a with a friend right now. Oh, um, okay. Would you like me to have him call you? No, just tell him I called in. Tell him to call me when he gets home, okay? Will do. Okay, thanks. Okay, bye. Bye. Oh, might as well take a nap. Kinda tired. I'll get it. Hey. Hey. You haven't been around for a while. Is everything okay? Um, I think we need to talk. Um, okay. What do you want to talk about? Listen, um, this isn't easy for me to say. What's not easy for you to say? I don't think this is working out. What's not working out? Us. Wait, uh, uh, are you breaking up with me? Yes. Why? I thought things were going great between us. I mean, I, I know you've been busy all the and way and everything, but... I met somebody else. What? 
Is that where you've been the past few weeks? Yeah, and I didn't have the guts to officially break up with you. So technically, you were cheating on me. I'm sorry. I have to go, Larissa. But you can't just leave me. You can't just walk out on me. I gotta go. I'm sorry. I really am. But I have to go. <sighs> ah! <sighs> Lisa, honey, are you all right? No, I had a horrible nightmare. What's going on? What was the screaming? Larissa had a nightmare, honey. You all right, honey? Do you want to tell us about it? No, it was stupid. Well, it can't be that stupid if it caused you to scream. Really, I don't want to talk about it. I just want to forget it, okay? Alright, well, in that case, um, dinner's almost ready, so you might want to get washed up. Okay, I'll be there in a minute. Okay. Come on, honey. I'm starving. Go wait in the kitchen. I'm, I want to talk to Larissa alone. Okay. Mom, it's okay. I'm fine, okay? You don't look fine. You look really, like, shooken up. What was the dream about? It was stupid, okay? Just tell me. I dreamt that TJ dumped me. For another girl. Oh, honey. That dream's common when you've been in a relationship. But as long as you and TJ have. Do you have dreams like that, too? Yes. I have. When I was dating your father. But look at how great that turned out. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. It's just a stupid dream. Now, there's the Larissa I know. Well, I think I washed up for dinner. Okay, I'll be there in a minute. I'm turning my light out in a minute, Mom. It's not your mom. TJ? Uh, come in. Hey. Hey. Oh, my God. I'm in my pajamas and you're here. It's okay. You don't have to worry about that. Okay. Well, it's great to see you. I missed you. Yeah, uh, we need to talk. Talk about what? Can I sit down? Yeah. So what do you want to talk about? Listen, um, I don't think this is working out. What's not working out? Although I'm afraid to ask. Well, you asked. Okay, what's not working out? A, a relationship? Oh my god. Yeah, I know I'm quite a catch and it's hard for you to lose me and everything. Well, wait, slow down. Are you breaking up with me? Yes. Why? I thought things were going great. I mean, I know you've been busy lately. I've been hanging out with Kirsten. Kirsten? Kirsten's one of my good friends. Are you guys dating? We've been dating for a few weeks. So that's where you've been these few weeks? Like, when you say you were too busy to hang out? Yes. So you cheated on me? Well, technically, no, because I was going to break up with you. Get out. Get out! Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, sure you are. Just get out of my room.
Get out! Hi. I think you, you, you need to leave. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe he did that to her. I know, it angers me. Do you think we should go in and talk to her? Honey, I don't think there's anything we can say. At least nothing you can say, no offense. But this is a girl thing. Alright, well, I'll be in the kitchen, um, doing something. I'll be there in a minute. I'm going to go see if she's okay. All right. <sighs> Larissa? Honey, are you okay? No. Yeah. Now listen, I know this probably won't make you feel better, but I know what you're going through. You've had your heart broken too? Yes, I did. By William Snodgrass. <laughs> William Snodgrass? Yeah, he's a lot cuter than he sounds. Anyway, I was madly in love with him, and then he dumped me for my best friend. And I was devastated. So how'd you deal with it? I didn't. I was devastated. I thought my life was over. Never thought I'd be happy again. But then, I met this little goofball named Ethan. Dad? Yes. And we started, we started out being best friends, and then we dated, and, well, the rest is all history. Honey, the point, the point is, is that if I hadn't had my heart broken, I never would have met your father. Then I never would have been born. And I wouldn't be so sad right now. <laughs> I know, honey. I know, the first broken heart is the hardest I know. First, you mean there's going to be more? No, honey. This is it. But what I do promise is that it will get better. And TJ was a loser for breaking up with you. Mom, please, I don't need that right now. Yes, you do. We both know that you do. And it's true. You are a beautiful girl inside and out. And if TJ can't see that, then he's the stupid one. He's the loser, not you. You're just saying that because you're my mom. No, I'm saying it because it's true. And because I'm your mom. <laughs> you gonna be okay? Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go to bed. Alright. You let me know if you need anything, okay? Okay. I love you. <laughs>